Oh wow, I can't believe that was just one dip. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sip and Dip with Chelsea. For today's video, we are going to be doing a super quick, easy fill on my dip nails. I filmed this set in my previous video. You can see I have no lifting. I shared a little prep hack how you can protect your nails without buffing them. So go check that out if you're interested in that but I still have them on, they're going strong. So I am going to do a very quick fill. I do not have clear dip powder under this, so we're just gonna be doing the same color. So if you're interested in that, let's get started. So y'all know I do not use an e-file, so I have my 180 grit slash 100 grit file. I'll be using the 100 grit side because you do want it to be really rough. We're gonna be doing a lot of filing and I've got my Melody Susie nail dust collector. So the first thing we wanna do is file off that top coat and some of the bulk of the nail. So let's say you are not like me and you don't wanna use the same color. Well, in that case, you would wanna make sure before you're doing your manicure, your first layer is clear dip powder and then do your color on top. So right now, you would be filing all of the color off until you reach the clear dip powder. Or you could be sneaky and just do a much darker color on top that's very opaque and would cover over your bottom color. This would obviously be much faster with an e-file, but I just want to show you guys that it's possible to do without an e-file. If you're not comfortable with it, or maybe you don't have the budget to buy one, you can still do this with a very rough grit nail file. All right, so this is where we're at. I'm just checking to see how my apex looks, how thick they are, and everything looks great. So I'm going to move on now to prepping around my cuticle area. So y'all know this is my holy grail product. I am obsessed with glass cuticle pushers. They are a total game changer. So I am just going to start pushing back all of my cuticle area and also doing little small gentle swirls on my nail to remove anything that is stuck there because that will cause a lifting issue. So that is two weeks of growth right there. And I like to use this side of the cuticle pusher to just clean everything out so we can get started. So normally I like to use pH prep as my dehydrator, but for this video, I wanna show you guys, this is just rubbing alcohol. If that's all you have on hand, you can absolutely clean and dehydrate your nail with rubbing alcohol. I'll be using Manny Boss Dip Powder Liquids today. I am gonna do the same hack as my other video. I'm gonna do one thin, even layer across the entire nail, and now I don't have to rough up the surface between my nail and my cuticle area, that exposed area that we're filling, because this is going to act like a glue, and it's gonna help it grab on. So we are still protecting our natural nails, and we do not have to jeopardize the longevity. So once that base layer is dry, you can start dipping. This is Flamingo, it's the same exact shade that I have on, and all we have to do is one dip. It's gonna be a full coverage, being careful to not get this on our cuticle area, and then dip into your powder. I'm just using a toothpick to clean up around my cuticle area and then tapping down any flakes that I see that are standing up. And that is it. Look at how nice that looks. One coat coverage. So dust off and now we can clear encapsulate. I'll be using Revel Nails Vivian. This is their clear, any clear dip powder will do. And now again, with your base liquid, do one full layer on your nail and dip into the powder. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now it's time to activate. So we're just gonna do a generous layer on the nail. This will help it harden so that we can file and buff. So once you hear this sound, that is how you know that it is hardened and it is ready to file. So starting with my 100 grit side, I just go around all of the edges, just getting a nice crisp shape back to my nail. And then I flip it over to my 180 grit side and I go across the entire surface of my nail. Once I'm done filing, I just move on to buffing. So I buff the entire surface, just making sure everything is smooth. Now it's time to activate one more time and then let this dry. So I like to use a lint-free wipe, a napkin, whatever you have on hand to just dry and clean the nail to make sure there's no leftover activator residue. With our dip powder top coat, we just do one full layer and then immediately following, do a second layer. Once that's dry, apply your favorite cuticle oil and you are done. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.